Please approach SCP-173 for testing. After months away, John Marston has returned to his loved ones. While trying to rebuild his ranch and win back the trust of his family, Marston awaits whatever life will throw at him. As he drives home one evening from an errand, he ponders whether a man can ever escape his past. He is a man who is ready for anything. anything. <laughs> Mother. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to say, damn this awful son I've raised with his highfalutin ways and his shame that his mother swears like a sailor and sews like a blind man. Uh, is that better? Your lordship. Much better, mother dearest. Oh, good. I'm so glad, my darling. When you've finished your university education and are far too good to even acknowledge my existence when we pass on the street, and you gently kick me aside and beg an old crow out of the way with your highly polished boot. Well, think of me kindly, at least, will you, my son? I'll try to, Mother. I'll think, that woman I just kicked, that used to be my dear old potty mouth mom. Maybe I should bother to kick her harder. <laughs> dear boy. Oh, I am so proud of you. Get off. Now, Father's here. Maybe he can beat some sense into you. Something funny's going on out there. Damn dogs gone crazy, and wolves howling, and birds flying. Well, it's just the storm, John. Maybe. Uncle make it back yet? I thought he was with you, off drinking in the fields. I mean, working, as you call it now. Uh, he went into town a few hours ago, after we busted that hammer working out in the meadow. Well, he's probably holed up in some place of ill repute waiting for the passing of the storm. I hope so. Well, that old man can take care of himself. I know. Just a funny feeling I got. You gone psychic, Paul? Either that or... I ate something funny. <laughs> Knowing your mother's cooking. Seems more than likely. Mm. Well, talking about food, who's ready for some poisoning? <laughs> Me, my darling. 
I am starving. What you reading? Just some book about monsters. Tell me about it. It's kind of dumb. <laughs> that should suit me just fine. Well, it's all about, in ancient times, how Aztec warriors worshipped the sun. But during full moons, some of them worshipped the moon instead. And upset the equilibrium of things. So anyway, w what it involves is there's this one guy, and he goes out in search of this man. That leaves him all alone. So anyways, since there ain't no cure, the brave man has to kill everybody, which is Absolutely disgusting and completely unbelievable. <laughs> it's getting late. Guess we're not gonna see Uncle till morning. Come on then, Abigail. <sighs> Jack, get yourself to bed, boy. Try to get some sleep. Ain't you worried about Uncle? Sure, but he'll have to wait till morning just like any other man would in his shoes. Night, son. Don't stay up reading too late. So good. Poor bastard, I... Well... You okay, darling? You okay? Oh. Abigail. Abigail. I don't feel so great. Jack! Get out here! Now! Oh, good Lord, what's happened? Mama! Careful, boy. Mama! Stay right there, the pair of them. Don't make me no widower now. Child, I'll treat you like one.
Now, I don't know what the hell's gotten into you sick, crazy bastards or what I've done to you, but I'm going to get help. Stay calm. As calm as you can, seeing as both of you... Probably just a fever. Jack, be kind to your mother. Abigail, teach the boy right from wrong. Both of you, stop biting chunks out of people. I'll be back as soon as I can. Guess I best go find me a doctor in town. <laughs> 